What's up, El Paso? Welcome back to Annie's Adventures and Friends. I'm here at Star City Studios. Thank you, as always, to them for allowing me a beautiful space to use every week for this week's, uh, for my YouTube show. Um, if you guys aren't already, please subscribe and help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers so I can start going live. But I have an amazing show for you. There's some really cool events coming up and I can't wait to introduce you to my friends and do a deeper dive into what they have going on. Um, so without further ado, let me just go on and switch the camera around and introduce you to everyone, okay? All right, fellas, how's it going today? I got a big group today. What's going on? So right here, I have my friend Adam with Teatro Neplanta. 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 That's awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. I Thank appreciate you. your time. Over here, these four fellas. Let me go on and there we go. Zoom out a little bit from left to right. We're gonna go on and have Renee, Mister Mister Two Eleven. We have David. We also have Jeremy. And then we have Christian. Thank you guys all for coming in, to, for coming and joining me. I know it's like the middle of a work day in the middle of the week, so thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> What's up, pals? I got Texas Heart and Abel. Thank you guys again for joining me. You guys have some really cool new things going on, so we're about to do a deep dive into that. So thank you guys so much for joining. Yeah, thank you. All right. Okay, so what we're going to go on and do is go around the table and dissect what everybody has going on. Um, I do like to ask, what type of marketing are you guys doing for your events? Do you have any tips or advice for business owners, musicians, uh, artists, nonprofits, whatever it may be, just for those out there who are watching and help, you know, just help them along with the process as well. All right, so let's go on and start. The fellas over here. So we have Texas Hard and Able. Hey. Thank you guys again. Um, you all have been on before. You're awesome local El Paso musicians. Let me just adjust this real quick. And you guys are working on a new project, yes? Yes. All right. So what is Border Entertainment? So Border Entertainment is a, it's a local booking agency. We provide everything, live music, uh, the, you know, pretty much... This comes out of, uh, you know, after being in the New York City area for um, almost 10 years yeah. and being back in town, um, I decided to partner up with, uh, uh, with, two, with two other people that are working really hard to making, you know, bringing that experience from New York mm -hmm. for, and also creating a platform for artists to expose their talent and connect with clients. So uh, on top of, you know, connecting artists with uh, different people that are doing the events and whatnot, we also, whoever is part of our roster of artists, we create different, uh, you know, materials, uh, like videos and whatnot. So we okay. also have a section of audio and video production. Marketing. We have a small video. studio where we do some live sessions. Uh -huh. So people are coming through, there's a little baby grand and there's little things, you know, cameras and, and lighting, we can multi-track and mix. But that's mainly to create content so that clients could go into our website that is borderentertainment.net and then see all the roster of musicians and then also, so because of that, we have actually one of the artists that we have is uh, Border Entertainment. Um, I'm sorry, it's Profile Band. Yes. And Texas can tell you more about Profile. Yes, Profile Band is um, it's great, great, great. It's like a top 40s pop cover band, um, but it's got some of the best musicians in the city of El Paso. Like some of these like real, real hard hitters. Um, we've all come together and um, formed this group. And uh, our next show is... Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, October 5th at the Garrison. Um, uh, doors open at 9 o'clock. Tickets are $15 online, $20 in person. Okay. Um, and uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a kick-ass show. It's going to be an awesome date night. If you guys are looking for some ideas for this Garrison weekend. Such a great place. Yeah, it? get those tickets. Get them in advance if you can. Save some extra money. Um, can buy you an extra drink tonight or that night or whatever, That's right? right. Yeah. Um, they also have food there, right? Yeah, they do have food there, uh, and uh, one interesting thing about it too is that, so you get to hear the band live, and then also we work it out as a showcase too, because we're going to do the music of Bruno Mars and, so and so Sonic, but then we also play a little bit of the repertoire that we can play in anybody's, for, yeah. you know, like we're talking to uh, uh, the soccer team here, the Locomotive? Yeah, uh, locomotive. Locomotives. Locomotives. I like Locomotion better though. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, so they're talking about having us for their dance. Yeah, so that's that's awesome. their dance team. Locomotion, that's their dance team. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's right. They get off the field, they're like, okay, guys, you ready? This will work. This will <laughs> work. <laughs> so, you know, we, we do a lot, it's a lot of party music with this particular set band. I think this yeah. band is different in a sense that, uh, you know, it's pretty much, you know, it's an experience that, you know, you could get in a, in a New York City, event, yeah. you know, like it's non-stop music, it's like, you know, the flow is great, there's communication via in-ears, and, you know, we bring in all that mm -hmm. really top entertainment experience. Right, like an actual show that you go yeah. see, looking sharp, the Dance whole nine yards, yeah, exactly, you're going to bring that entertainment to that venue as well, exactly. right, the whole vibe. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. So again, this is this Saturday. Saturday. Pre-advanced tickets are fifteen dollars, twenty dollars at the door. Yeah, that's correct. What you got? Uh, I was gonna say we also have a ticket giveaway if you. Ooh, that's right. That. Yes. Let's talk uh, about that. So uh, yeah, uh, currently at, right now on Facebook we have, or on Facebook and Instagram we have uh, a ticket giveaway that uh, we're giving away two packs of four tickets each um, to uh, the people who see that post, and it's like. You know, you, you follow us and, and tag a friend and all that stuff. It's not like, you know, sign your insurance, you know, to us or anything. It's easy, yeah. super easy. Yeah, right? super easy. And um, it's a free access to, to a really good time. That's awesome. Yeah. Then how, when is the deadline for that? Tonight. Okay, so, get it. Get it now. Get oh, it. my goodness. I hope this video is up in time. This is, sometimes YouTube <laughs> takes hours. But, I mean, I'm... Now we can push maybe tomorrow. Okay, we'll okay, okay. If not, it's sorry, guys. Yeah, I mean, if not, <laughs> the tickets are not that much at no. all. Yeah. So, go get them. Have a good time. Um, take some friends. It's downtown, a beautiful downtown. location. Beautiful. Um, and then, you know, if you're open open late and you want to go to the, the tap after, it's right the next door, right? The vibes are awesome. Right. So go check them out. And again, these musicians right here are amazing yeah. on their own. Um, Texas Heart, you just had some singles released. Thank you. My next single is coming out actually in a few days. It's called Moon Song. It's, I think it's the best song I've ever written. Watch um, out. It's for my ex-girlfriend when... We're in love. It's a great song. It's such. I like, can't wait to hear it. Very, very cool. So I actually recorded it here at Star City. One of my favorite songs is the one that you played last time. Angel Dude, that one's yeah. so good. <laughs> That's yes, not yes. that song. It's okay. That, this okay. is much more, um, like, I mean, emotionally uh, invested. Yeah. Which is like, it's, it's, it's just, it's just a great thing. And I'm, I'm very, me personally, I, like, as Texas Heart, I'm very very grateful to be a part of this group um, yes Abel called me a while back and uh, heard about me through a friend or something and yeah. he was like you want to I heard you're a good singer entertainer person do you want to come be in this band I guess hell yeah, yeah. yes so, perfect uh, fit yeah. and then of course the jazz exchange right, right. I love the jazz exchange you guys do so much for the community yeah. um, make sure to follow and what do you guys have going on there well I mean we have actually uh, we have a jazz academy program That's we right. still have a uh, this is like a year program for kids. Uh, it's jazz education for kids 11 through 18. Okay. So registration is uh, open until October 12th. Okay. And this is like a weekly, you know, ensemble class for kids 18 through 11. They, they get a coach. They, they learn about the music, about mm -hmm. the culture of it, and how to improvise and how to be creative. So that's the main thing we have. But now we're also producing El Paso Jazz Festival once a year. We've done it for the second year this yes. year, earlier uh, this summer. And then we have uh, we have our uh, Jazz Appreciation Month uh, fundraiser in okay. April. Okay. We bring always artists from New York and whatnot. My wife's going to be super happy because I'm already pitching the jazz Yes. <laughs> What's up, Candice? I can't <laughs> jazz Festival, make sure you go. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then just something real quick I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about it, boys. I really am on the fence about getting into the trumpet again. There you go. Dude, there I haven't go. played I played the trumpet one year in sixth grade, but it, to me well, it's the best really instrument ever. I really <laughs> am because I love it. Anytime I hear any, any right. song, I'm like, that song just shot through the roof and it's number one in my heart, you know? Cool. I don't know, the trumpet is just amazing, but yeah, well, I'm thinking about look, it. Look, when you start when you start blowing some notes and whatnot, we have also one of our programs with the Jazz Exchange, mm -hmm. which is uh, Jazz Around Town every Wednesdays at the Garrison. Okay. We have show on Saturday. We have a jazz night, and that's uh, featuring different artists, oh, local cool artists, that. and they open up with a set of music, and then it's a jam session. So when you're ready, you can come up and sign up. And Man, I gotta music. start. I gotta start from square one. Like, let me learn how to read music again. Yeah. <laughs> but that's so awesome. Yes. So the little things, 
right? But thank you guys so much for coming on. Again, how do they follow uh, Borderland Entertainment for all the like upcoming events? Okay, so uh, on Instagram and Facebook, Border Entertainment. Uh, Instagram is Border Entertainment underscore. Uh, profile is profile.ep mm -hmm. and uh, that's how you can find us. You can also find us on our website. You can find all the different artists and things that we offer to the public at uh, borderentertainment.net. And your all's personals as well. Yes, uh, my personal is Abel Mireles, M-I-R-E-L-E-S uh, underscore on Instagram and Facebook. You can find me too. I have my music too out. I put yes. out an album a couple years ago so you can find my stuff too as well. My Instagram is Abel Mireles2. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, my Instagram is Texas Heart one That, like, literally Texas Heart, the number one. H-A-R-T. Um, and you can find my stuff there. And you can also find everything else uh, yeah. through there as well. And also follow the Jazz Exchange. Oh, also follow the Jazz yeah. Exchange. Yeah. Um, and then both these musicians are available for hire for your events, yes. either individually or through Border Entertainment. Reach out to them and tell them I sent you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Real so quick, what type yeah. of marketing do you do? And do you have any tips and advice for business owners, for musicians out there? Okay, well, look, a lot of it is being default uh, to uh, uh, social media ads. That's been helping a lot. Uh -huh. Uh, partnerships with uh, with different businesses and collaborations of Correct. newsletters definitely doing a website newsletters and uh, also now like we just hired a Texas as our booking agent oh great and so and promoter so we've been doing we're gonna be doing some events and whatnot <laughs> get it <laughs> That's awesome. So, I love it. Different things, different ways. How we're doing yeah, it. you have to diversify, right? Can't yeah. put all your eggs in one basket. But I might be hitting you up because, you know. I'm here for marketing, man. Anything you guys need yeah. or with Annie's Adventures. Can I, can I jump on that? Yeah. Point, actually, um, I actually, uh, that's the advice I would give. I, 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 you know, I'm young and, and like not as um, experienced in, in, in everything. To be able to give advice mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say. But... If I had a, if I had any advice to give people is I've gotten this far is um, do not be afraid to talk to people. Yeah. You know, it's like a lot can happen with just a simple high or mm -hmm. handshake or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. Don't be afraid. Just yeah. get out there and do it. You know, I, one thing that I was, I'm announcing is that uh, <clears throat> I'm the new uh, director of the jazz ensembles at UTEP. Watch so out. We have our first concert October the 10th. And that also probably happened because of talking to yeah. some people. You know, right. Like just like getting to know Dr. Pancho Romero, recommend him to teach at MSU. Exactly. Or like exactly. Things like Networking. That. El Paso Networking. is all about who you know, so you better start knowing people and start introducing mm -hmm. yourself, right? That's right. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank all you. right. Oh, thank you, uh, Annie. That's I'm it. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Thank you, Annie. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, fellas. All right, so we have this awesome group here. If you guys can scoot in a yep. little bit, act like you like each other. Let me get you all on one screen. All right. Okay. All right, so from left to right, we're going to have Renee, Mr. 211, the God fella. The God fella. Did I say it right? All right, great. I have David. I also have uh, Jeremy, and then I have Christian. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you, David, for bringing them all on. You're with El Paso Citizen uh, Police Academy Alumni Association. Got it. That's right. And then um, you brought your friends with you today to talk about a special event you have going on, yeah? Yes. Um, came on board to share an event that we've got coming up this coming Saturday from 10 to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. at Veterans Park. Um, the event is called Faith in Blue, mm -hmm. and it's essentially a, a program that's national. It goes all over the country in October is Faith in Blue Month. Next week kicks off Faith in Blue Week primarily, though. Okay. Uh, so there's events all over the country. Our particular event will have pastors from various churches throughout the city. Uh, a lot of local towns will be uh, sharing their uh, their music with us as well. Uh, it's an entirely free event to the public. Uh, cool. We have vendors, we have food vendors, we have vendors that will be uh, selling items out there. It the food is free? Uh, the food is not free. <laughs> <laughs> Good but, question. No, food vendors are for free. <laughs> but uh, it, it should be a great event. And uh, simply what Faith in Blue is, is basically, it reinforces the, the relationship between law enforcement and the community. And how they do that is they basically they bring they, they reach those the community through houses of worship. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's essentially what this is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we invite the community to come out, 
Should be a great time. Uh, be like I said, a ton of food options. Uh, you name it, we have it. You can find us on all sorts of social media. We're on Instagram. We have our own website. We're on X. We're on Facebook. You name it, we're out there. Uh, El Paso Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association. Instagram is the easiest way to follow us. EPCP AAA. Okay, guys. EPCP Tripoli. I like that. Yeah, and we need to do commercial for you. I can get that jingle. I like it. I like it. With these guys singing. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 I want to actually hear a, a mix of all y'all. Yes. We've got some hip hop and some country, some jazz, a little Hawaiian. All right. Um, so your event again is happening this? This Saturday. Starts at 10 a.m. promptly at uh, Veterans Park in Northeast El Paso. Perfect. Yeah, so like go and spend the morning with these fellas and go yeah. spend the evening with these guys. Yeah, exactly. we're just about right now. <laughs> I love it. Have a good time. So what were, what were you wanting to go into right now? Sorry, David. I just want to go ahead and introduce some of the members yes, that will be participating. We'll start with this gentleman on my right hand side. Tell me a bit about himself. What he's doing. All right. My name is Guido Rene Gantara Jr. AKA Mr. 211 The Godfellow. I'm a Christian. I'm an upcoming Christian hip hop artist. Um, and also I have my own TV show as well, Christians in the Streets. And I'm part of a, a ministry called Disciple the Streets. We're a remnant all around the world that, um, you know, help, uh, you know, live out the Great Commission. You know what I'm saying? Jesus said, um, all authority in heaven and earth have been given unto me. Therefore, go and baptize all nations, um, uh, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm about. Ambassador to represent Jesus Christ here on earth and, um, and heaven. You know what I'm saying? And so... We're trying to reach out to the community, to the lost, the broken, and it comes in different forms. You know, you don't have to be addicted to drugs or right. or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I know successful uh, CEOs that um, are broken. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, so we're here to get the people plugged in, show the love that God showed us, the transformation, and just, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, love. You know yeah. what I'm saying? At the end of the day, bring them together, bring, bring everyone together, together, right? Yes, ma'am. I love it. Yeah. And how do people find you? Um, okay, so I'm new to the social media stuff, right? So it's going to be Mr. Underscore 211, the Godfella on Instagram. And then my name on, on Facebook, Guido Rene Cantora Jr. And I'll send it to you so you can Yeah, like please. Because okay. I'm so new to this stuff. And then I think I have a TikTok, and that's all I already know about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. You're on it. You're getting there. You're getting there. Yeah. Just post daily. It's important. We'll talk yes. about that right now. Most yeah. definitely. Yeah, uh, so part of my testimony was I've been locked up half my life. And okay. Stuff. So that's why I have the love I have. Because if you can change a man like me, he can change anybody. I love it. Awesome. Amen. Very cool. Well, thank you for sharing. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Awesome. All right. What's up, Jeremy? Oh, yeah. Well, my name's Jeremy. And uh, so I, I'm i just excited about the event. So I'm a, I, I, I play at church. Um, so I go to a church called Messio Day Church. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, I love this event because it's not only just sharing the gospel, but it's also plugging people in with the local church. Yes. And I think that's so important because you have a lot of events where people go preach the gospel where they say, you know, um, have that, but at the same time, there's no follow-up. Or, you mm -hmm. know... Um, yeah, and, and with this event, I love it because you have local churches there to help people connect. Yeah. And, and that's the main thing, that there's follow-through, and you, you help um, people not only come to Christ, but help them walk with Christ and walk together. And um, so I love that. And um, so I do uh, Christian music. I play music, or yeah, play music and sing. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I do. Uh, I have social medias. I don't know. It sounds bad. I don't even know the names. <laughs> <laughs> um, Message me names, so like, that like, word. Send me the yeah, 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 I know YouTube, Facebook, right? Hire okay. me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I guess you can see how my handles on there. Like, yeah, send uh, me that. So yeah, I have like, yeah, I'll send those, but I have my link tree. So I have them all there on link tree and Spotify. Okay. And, yeah, I just um, found out about link tree. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like a, like <laughs> it's a web uh, cover page, right? Yeah, With it's all like your all in one. It. You just put them all there. So I need for that. For somebody like me who's like, oh man, I think my handle's this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, then, uh, like, it's all on Linktree, so it's uh, Linktree, and it's a Jeremy Joseph Perales. Okay. On Linktree, and uh, you can find all my social medias. Um, I have uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook, um, Instagram, mm -hmm. and YouTube, and Spotify. But um, I'm just really excited about this event because I like um, I always I play some events like markets locally, and I mm -hmm. just started playing stuff, so. Not all that great at it, but you got, <laughs> I'm really you're excited getting about there. This, yeah, you gotta keep doing it. Because the whole the whole point of it, you know, sharing the gospel and mm -hmm. connecting people with the local church. Absolutely, and that's just the to me is just the the most more most important thing is connecting people with local church to not only 
preach Christ, but get them connected. Perfect. And real quick, so you have hip hop music, yes? yes and country? Uh, so I play country, but okay. I, I write Christian music and I, I play Christian music. Like I play every Sunday at church. Because it could uh, be Christian country. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do Christian country. I write some country Christian songs as okay. well. I do some country. So I, the last event I did was actually at the Horizon City Wine Festival. Oh, yeah. Um, that was so really good. I played there. Okay. And, uh, and, and usually that before that was like just markets. So, okay. Very <laughs> so I'm always open to playing and also uh, share the gospel in those events. I always get, uh, I always like uh, meet with whoever it is and just let them know who I am. Mm-hmm. And I love sharing the gospel in that. And, and so far, it's been really cool. Awesome. It's been a really awesome experience. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Christian Garola. I'm the lead pastor, senior pastor of Mesa Place Church. Okay. And um, David asked me to see if we can go help. Uh, one of the things of our church is that we do a lot of outreach. So we get people in the church and then we get them out of the church to go and serve the community. We do a lot with uh, Leo's law enforcement officers of all sorts of um, sheriff. Leo's uh, border law control, enforcement? Law enforcement officers. Oh, I like so I've anything never heard Leo, that before. Anything Leo will go, will go do. So okay. we do border patrol, we do ICE, uh, sheriff's department, PD, done a couple FBI things. Dang, um, that's so cool. And so we go out there and what we literally do is just serve them. And um, believe it or not, they don't just like donuts. They like Chick Fil A. We do do a lot of that. Uh, Last week we just served one of the uh, checkpoints. We had about 110 border agents go by. That's awesome. um, Gave them lunch. uh, Just sat and listened to their stories. Uh, I don't know if the community knows, but our law enforcement is going through a lot, especially in this border region. I can only imagine. It's It's heavy. Well, we went out to where the horse patrol is for the border patrol. And these guys are going out in the middle of the desert between 5 p.m. and 2 in the morning and finding families, people completely wasted. And so these drug cartel guys are using them. And so uh, people on horseback are literally bringing all these families back, but they have horror stories. And so I think that's where the church can get involved and go out there and just spend time with them and listen to their stories. Um, We did about 110 uh, uh, cards, uh, just uh, telling them that we're encouraging them, and 100% of those guys put on their baseball cap or inside the bulletproof vest. That means a lot. And so uh, uh, David knows that we've we've done a couple things already with them, and so we're super excited to go out there and just serve the community. Uh, we have a, a strange entitlement community that thinks that we're entitled to break the law. Oh my gosh! Don't uh, even get me started. Well, Appreciate and so um, and so. The nonsense that stops is, of course, always going to be the, the, the law enforcement side. But the law enforcement side is being pressured so much. And so we're asking PD to go out there and be psychiatrists and psychologists. And it's, uh, it's just not fair. It's no, just it's not, not fair. And so I really appreciate that David's doing this. Well, and I like the fact that you brought up, like, we don't think about what they're going through right now. El Paso is going through a boom. It That's is going right. through a, its own little, like... It, Growth, it's happening right Listen, now. Big city problems yeah. happening in, in our yeah. quote unquote little town, right? Yeah. But that we're understaffed for. So we're not a little town. And, yeah. and this is what drives me crazy. In the borderplex, we're over 2 million strong. Yes. And, and El Paso is getting uh, just hit with that. We have agents uh, that are buying from their own pocketbook clothes, uh, uh, shoes, diapers, mm-hmm. um, uh, female hygiene and they're taking it out on the field because they're left with nothing. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these agents are going through a lot. We've partnered up with them. Uh, We're a resource for a lot of the checkpoints to Mm -hmm. do that. And like Mm -hmm. I said, if there's any opportunity to go out there and just tell them, hey, we're here, we're we're praying for you. Supporting them. And uh, a a couple ways that you can do that is, believe it or not, we're the only Mesa Place Church in the United States. So uh, Mesa Place Church, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, our website, mesaplacechurch.com uh, through there. If you want to reach us uh, directly, it's connect at mesaplacechurch.com and you can get a hold of us there. Yeah. Uh, marketing strategy, super quick, mm-hmm. and that is say what you're going to do and then do what you're going to say 100%. in the community. They'll talk about it. You're you. only as good as your word. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. I and thank you, Annie, for doing this. No, of course. Um, I'm so. I have a soft spot for law enforcement. My dad is a retired police officer. There you go. My uncle's in customs at the the border checkpoint or border area. Um, My stepdad's a fireman. I was in the Navy along many, many moons ago, was a police officer, got that training and all that stuff. So, um, you know, 
it's either a, a love hate relationship, you right. know, depending on which news you're watching yeah. or whatever. And you know, um, th there is a lot going on in this city specific. Right. We're going through a lot of growth. Just our streets alone, right? And the car chases. The and right the, I mean, like, oh well, gosh. I'm not even talking about that, man. I'm talking about like I don't want to drive on our streets past 10 p.m. because mm, right. I don't feel safe. Mm. Like people are driving wrong ways. They're drunk because yeah. they don't know right. how to handle their personal problems. But you know what? One of the things that's happening in El Paso is that El Paso used to be a safe place mm -hmm. because the cartels used to protect it. That protection's gone, mm. and so people from Colorado and Chicago are coming to El Paso and trying to establish. And that's what's happened in the last uh, several weeks. Like we saw one of the undercover agents goes to our church and uh, they got the, the group from Colorado. And these guys are seeing stuff. When they go in and to the hotels and, and, and these safe homes, they're seeing stuff. Mm -hmm. And we forget that these guys, that's their job, but they still have to go home. Yeah, and have and, and have a, their own mental health. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Um, on top and, and, and be there with their family and, and right. all that stuff right. on top of having right. all this type of stuff yeah. on them So yeah. it's really great that you guys yeah. are helping the community like that and and again I really encourage you guys to reach out and if you're interested in helping and participating yes. and writing notes and right. just little things like that It means so much that you so don't much. even think about you know, so yeah. um, thank you for, for all of you guys This guy. <clears throat> so to tie it all back in the main theme behind this faith and belief event is stop the violence yes all right it's about addressing the problem that we see and violence takes on many different forms in our community right mm -hmm. guys uh but at the end of the day we've got to we've got to draw attention to that and we have chosen to use our lord and savior as the main way to address this problem mm -hmm. in our city. Mm -hmm. and that's what we're doing i love it i love it and so how do they follow you again uh epcpaaa at instagram.com we are El Paso's citizen um el paso cp3a.org yes. is our website and i don't remember what our x is <laughs> <laughs> but we're on there yes <laughs> and if you google us you'll find it all because we're the first thing that will pop up if you type well, in el paso citizen belief you can stop at that word i love following you guys you guys are constantly doing community outreach um and you know in in and having law enforcement go out and and com, com, in our community and and building that strong relationship um you guys i this veterans park this is like the third or fourth time i've heard that this week where is this park at it's actually uh, off of a dyer it sits between dyers and dyer and rushing right okay. up and it's on salem street that's the straight shot right into the park okay. uh, hey halloween salem Perfect. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful park. We're going to be out where the gazebo's at. Okay. If you've ever been there, it's a really pretty park. We face the mountains. We have the entire corner of, of the park. Okay. There'll be other events going on, so we anticipate it being sure. very crowded. So get out there early. Guys. Yes. And real quick, the El Paso Citizens Academy Alumni Association. When is your next sign up registration we for class? just graduated a group last week. Okay. Uh, I was sharing with the guys. So, you know, the, the program is to. Uh, allow regular citizens to kind of get an idea of what mm -hmm. it is to be a law enforcement yes. officer through a very mini abridged academy. Uh, they get exposure to different departments, different techniques, different programs that, that either the citizens, the, the police department from El Paso and or Texas DPS, because I partner of both agencies, mm -hmm. uh, presents to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, We actually found <clears throat> three future law enforcement cadets. They, they are registering now. That's They're so going cool. to join the program. Congratulations. So that's awesome. Because we need, uh, we need officers. We do. We're under staff. And I don't know if that's true, but I'm uh, going to say it. Because <laughs> I feel like we are. And, and that's kind of what we hear all the time, right? Yeah. Like, we're hiring. We're hiring. Yeah. I hear, like, and I remember in the past, people, we have a great academy here. They, gra they graduate here and then they leave. Right. We need you here. We need you here in our, in yeah. our community yeah. with Being your so families. Awesome. Yes. Low, For low those signs. that don't know this, uh, and a lot of people would probably say you're crazy, but the reality is the El Paso Police Department Academy, the one on the mountain, mm -hmm. is the number one police academy in the state of Texas. Really? Other academies from other states, I believe including it. our state, will come here to see yes. how it is that we train officers. Yes, and then that's why they, they train here and then they all leave. I'm like, what the heck? Like, come on, people, the stay in your community. The they do a, a phenomenal job yeah. training the officers ready for the field. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, if anybody's looking for a job out there, just so you know, we're looking for a few good men, right? And, All right. and women. And women, yes, that's right. That's right. All right, did we cover everything, fellas? In case the job doesn't work out, and you can 
You never know. Fall back. <laughs> I tried to be I was always... Well, I was interested in the forensic um, side of it. That in the gang unit. You know you're always invited, okay? Yes. Oh, Our, no, I know. My last class was CSI. Oh, do you do um, CPR and... We do it, but not in that particular class. I need to learn that. I want to learn that. Because the other day I was at a restaurant and I was like really kicking myself because I don't know how to save a life. Mm, okay. Everybody needs Supporting to learn that. Yes, everybody. So go on, follow them, register for the academy, yeah. yes. get some excellent information, just know more about your community. Our next class will be in January. That's Perfect. Our next class will be. Excellent. But it's, never, it's not too early to sign up. That's, That's right. Early. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All righty. Hi. All right. So we have Adam with Teatro de Planta. I said this right. Yes. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super excited to learn about your event that you have coming on. It sounds wild and crazy, but super exciting. Yeah. Um, if anybody out there loves plays, duh, like everybody, right? Yeah. Um, you're going to love this event. It is not this weekend um, like these two other events. It is next weekend. Mm -hmm. So, Adam, go on and take it away. Tell us all about what you guys do, what you have coming up, and how people can get involved. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm Adam Zorowski. I am the artistic director and the uh, founder of Teatro de Planta. Uh, for those of you who do not know what the word Planta means, that's okay. Uh, we coined it. Uh, we took it from an old Chicano word, Napantla, which means uh, like a bridge between two spaces, like stuck in the middle, right? And so we felt like uh, that combined with uh, the unsung heroes of plants that keep us alive um, and uh, the fact that we don't really judge plants as they're growing and forming into what they do. Uh, we took napantla and, naplant and plants and we came naplanta, which is easier to say. Okay. Uh, and speaking of media, uh, easier to coin new words, right? Uh, but yes, uh, we are we are going in our third season as a, as a regional company here in El Paso, Texas. Uh, we have done four or five events every year, and this is our continued, this is our third annual 24-hour play festival, right? Uh, we started our company with this vision. We weren't sure we were gonna do other shows at the time, uh, and so we started the whole thing with this 24-hour play festival. And what it is, uh, the, the, the elevator pitch, mm -hmm. is uh, we gather writers, directors, actors, and a technical crew. We get them to sign up to create these plays, right? And so we started this this year in July. Everybody started signing up. We had over 100 people sign up to be involved. Uh, Jeez, our awesome. first year we had 30 people involved total. And it's it's the whole region or like anybody is open? So it's Borderland. Uh, Borderland, uh, I do have two actors um, coming in this year that, that are professional actors in LA. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both from here. Though. Okay. They graduated from Utah. Counts. Uh, Counts. Exactly. Actually, no, no, that, that's actually yeah. something that's important, <laughs> it's important to me. It's yeah, important like they me. went off and did, exactly. yeah. And that's bring actually it, And bringing back. it back. That's exactly. all we ask. Bring exactly. it back. Exactly. Um, and so uh, they're, they're coming back. Uh, one of them came back last year and had a, had a blast. Good. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so out of those 100 people, we, uh, you know, we, we, we started 30 last year. We had about 45 people involved. We had 100 people sign up. I had to cap it off Good, at 60 cool. people. Um, and so this year we actually had to turn some people away um, to get involved. But, uh, but yeah, so we all meet, right? And so we're going to do eight plays, right? So we, we took eight directors, eight writers. Uh, and then we took uh, 40 actors, right? And then we have an eight-person technical crew. And so we, they have been getting all kinds of information from me for the last month or so, uh, prepping for this. Uh, but what happens is next Friday, October 11th, everybody meets um, over at my house, which we call the Casa de Planta because we've also done shows inside and outside of this house. It's, awesome. it's in Sunset Heights. It's actually really cool. It was a family house of mine. Uh, that I bought from my family in the last couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> and so we do shows there, and we also do rehearsals there. Anyway, so everybody meets at this house, and everybody introduces them to each other. Uh, then the actors get up and do two minutes of whatever they want. Some people sing songs, do dances, do monologues, whatever they want. But basically, they're showing the, the writer and the director who they are, mm -hmm. like who they want to be written for. Show us a character you want to play, right? Mm -hmm. And so the writers and directors are watching everybody go. It's a really good time, too. Like there's, We have drinks, and we have snacks, and stuff like that. Everybody's going to know each other. Uh, but then every, every actor's done, right? And then we go into another room, and this is where we start rolling some dice. <laughs> and, uh, and if you've ever played fantasy football, we do a snake draft, right? And so, so all of a sudden we have all 40 actors up, and the actors and directors roll to see who's going to be together. So oh, you don't know who fun. you're working with. Like the director and actor, the director and writer like get put it. together. And then the next step they go, all right, now we got to draft a play. And so we start, and they roll dice to see who goes first. And so if I have first pick, I pick... 
the one, the, you know, my favorite person that I just saw that I want to write for, then I don't get another pick for 14, you know, for 15 picks, right? <laughs> but everybody, yeah, 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 right? Um, and so, so we, we draft all the actors, right? And so every show has five people, right? And then, um, and then the writers and directors have to roll dice and they get assigned a random prop. Like someone gets assigned a you know a pirate sword or whatever, and like that, the play has to include that, right? Wow. Uh, it has to you know, and that has to be a big part of what it is. It's you like know? improv thrown in behind the scenes. Exactly, and a lot of festivals do this. Uh, film festivals do stuff like that. They throw in stuff that nobody could prepare, so that they make sure that they're you know it, they make sure one that everything's original. Yes. But it also is inspiration. You know, when you just say write anything, you're like, oh, where do I start? But if you're like write anything and you have to use this vintage gas can, you're like, okay. You what have kind something of story to dance around. Yeah. Exactly yeah. right. So it keeps it random, but it also is inspirational, right? So there's not only a prop. There's a there's a fifty uh, a fifty song playlist that they have to roll a number to get, and one of those songs they can either use the song as like a underscore or they can use the lyrics from the song or oh, they this can is like fine. Yeah, yeah yeah and so and then there's also so so there's like five or different things oh here's the other thing too <laughs> and, and, and and trust me this is not me trying to do anything <laughs> but last year all the plays the writers had to make their play take place on Friday the 13th because Ooh. last year oh, wow. actually it was Friday the 13th yeah. so just whatever that meant right like Friday the 13th this year, all the plays have to take place on November 6th, 2024. Okay. Well, which is the day after the election. Oh! <laughs> so, whatever that means. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not saying write political plays. I'm saying whatever that day inspires you to do. Uh, but it's just, it's, an, it's, a, it's supposed to be a, an interesting day, right? Yeah. So I've done, when I did it in college, we had to do it on Thanksgiving one time at every yeah. play. You know, and so it's just, it's just a random day that people have to use that could mean something, could mean a lot of things, you know, just to do that, right? And so then everything gets paired together, and then at 10 o'clock, uh, the writers, the directors, and uh, the uh, the actors have an hour to talk and collaborate, or oh. just get to know each other. And then from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., the eight writers and half the technical crew stay at my house. I have donuts, coffee. There's a Circle K across the street. Uh, <laughs> people have grub hubs like in the middle of the night. But they have from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. to write plays. You have 60 Ooh. people in your house. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I mean, we do it we do the beginning. But then I send everybody away at 11 okay. p.m. And the only people that stay are the writers. Because okay. the, the directors and the, the, the actors have to work the next day. So yeah. they go home and go to sleep or okay. whatever they want to do. <laughs> and uh, so they, they write. And basically at that point, me and the technical crew, we start working the programs. We start putting together the media. We start putting, we, we videography stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's really cool because you get to see these eight people and sometimes they have their significant others they can stay if they need and you know if they just sometimes last year somebody had their dog and stuff like that and so and it's, so it's still like about 15 people in the house and so once in a while people take breaks and you know people walk down and circle K and yeah. grab some coffee and stuff like that I, this one guy was like I'm gonna take like an hour nap don't worry I was like I'm not here to to police you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here. You are adults try to play, but by seven a.m. I need a fifteen minute play, right? Yeah. Uh, and so, and every year we get fifteen, we get new plays That's that by so seven a.m. that I'm reading throughout the thing. Um, and so then we start printing everything out. We start sending everything out. At eight a.m. we meet at Delgado Legacy uh, Center, um, which is uh, fifteen forty East Antonio uh, Street, and it's 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 the home of. Uh, the pro wrestling luchadora matches um, that are that are held weekly, right? Mm -hmm. And so we had to find a space that we could not only fit about 120 seats in, but we could also have all 60 people the next day rehearsing and practicing and setting it all up. Right? Yeah. So yeah. the next day we meet there, right? And uh, we bring you know breakfast and everything like that. But all the actors and the directors are being handed a brand new script, right? And then um, and then the only thing that's interesting, you know, the only uh, next caveat is that um, you know and also the technicians have to be included in the script like there has to be a special effects thing in the show and stuff that have to be incorporated but um, the groups move every hour we have eight spaces in the warehouse to rehearse it now the reason they move is because I would say five of them are about the same sort of space but then like one of them is like a small conference room mm -hmm. and one of them more more importantly is the actual stage mm -hmm. and so people get only one hour before yeah. their technical thing to work on the actual stage and the rest of the time they have to rehearse other places right but we try to give everybody a fair amount of view like like you know mm -hmm. so it just but so they also have to move around every hour yeah. <laughs> that's usually when people take a bathroom break or whatever and that's also where the directors um the directors i mean it's every job in this in this this festival you know 
not only is it fun, but there's a lot of responsibility, right? And the directors have to basically figure out with the, with the rooms they have when they want to do like table work and when they want to block the scenes on their feet and when they want to do more like line rehearsal and stuff like that too because people always ask me like mm -hmm. so do, do the do the actors like go out with their scripts and stuff like that? I was like no like this you're, you're seeing a show like when you go to the plaza they don't have scripts in their hand right they yeah. see a show so I'm telling you you see actors all over just like running lines like the whole time and then they'll run into rehearsal and they're like oh, well you guys are working the scene what are those Celsius go drinks that people drink yeah. Yeah. yeah oh no no yeah there's a lot of Red Bull and Celsius and coffee going around lots of sugar we keep a lot of donuts. If anybody wants to donate, please send me an email. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. we have rehearsals, right? And uh, you know, lunch is brought in and we're setting up the programs and we're setting up our snack bar and stuff like that. And at 4 o'clock, we tech the shows. And so everybody comes back to the, the, to the stage part. Everybody's still rehearsing other places. But we tech it. What, what's your sound? What's your lights? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's, what's everything Set that's important to play, right? So everybody gets to have a final dress rehearsal. And seven o'clock, we open the doors, uh, and then people Dang. come in. Yeah, we open the doors. We have thirty minutes of pre-show. We're gonna have a, a guy playing some music. His name's Nathan Smith. Um, he will be playing some. I'm so anxious over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is there enough time? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, literally, we're like we're pushing. Like people are waiting to get in, and we open the doors, and everybody takes a seat, gets a snack, gets a beer, whatever you need, uh, and then the shows start at seven thirty. That's so uh, The cool. shows are fifteen minutes a piece, and then we have, and that's part of the crew too. Um, we have a three to five minute break between each show. Gives everybody a chance to you know grab a snack or use the restroom, um, but it also gets gives them a chance to switch the sets and yeah. then we start over. Wow! And by this point, I am I have been up for forty eight hours because I don't go to sleep. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I stay up the whole time, uh, which always every year I'm like I'll be fine, and then I hit my little blocks at certain yeah. times. But uh, but then we do the show, and, and what the coolest part for me um, is, is 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 before we start the show, we have a big gathering of all these people mm -hmm. and. Um, it's it's really cool like at the end to start and be like let's do these shows for these people that are ready to see it but then at the end like we always like look at a, a clock and we're like what time is it and it's like it's 9 59 and we're like we just did it in 24 hours like we get it done we start and we finish in 24 hours that's insane yeah yeah, yeah. insanely awesome Man, i'm so thanks, excited thanks, thanks, so thanks. so how do people go get their tickets? Okay, so yeah, so like I said, so 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 this is this, this is the first event that we always do of the year for Theatre La Planta, right? So the rest of the year uh, we do shows, uh, and, and hopefully we can talk about those another time. Um, but to get tickets, uh, <laughs> I have a the first year we did it, uh, I used a ticketing uh, a branch that ended up just costing me a lot of money. Um, and so, since this is the only this is the only event that the Athena Planta has that we consider a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. One of the one of the cool things about the Athena Planta is it's a regional theater, which means uh, we have the highest paying theater in town by far. Wow! And and that's that just comes from ticket sales. We we've never gotten donations. We're not sponsored by anybody. Like all the money we make. For this theater gets is ticket sales mm -hmm. and we also like all the artists are getting paid more than anybody else in the city that's super cool um, and, and 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 it's still not even close to enough but it has to start somewhere el paso just a little information el paso is by far the largest city in america um that's over five hundred thousand, let alone a million in the el paso mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. that does not have a regional theater it's mm -hmm. it's it's absurd. why am i not surprised <laughs> right <laughs> it's right now and you need and you need educational theater and you need community theater. Yes. They're very important. And then you need traveling professional theater. Yes. But you need that, that one in the middle. You mm -hmm. need, you know, if you go to Houston, there's the alley and they have a company and these are professional actors making a professional living that, that have gotten professional yeah. training. And there's, there's, a, there's a quality of theater so that you have education, you have community and you have professional. And you have touring stuff in, and so we're we're just trying to bring that to all. That's super cool. So so anyway, so the ticketing system at this point, and we're about to change it actually because I finally found a service that we like. But it's a little unorthodox, but it saves everybody a little bit of money. Um, <laughs> all you have to do is you can either hit one of our QRs or one of our links on social media, right? Um, if you would like to email me, I can send you a link. Uh, but there's posters all over town. We have uh, Instagram, we have Facebook. There's QRs, links. Uh, it'll take you to a link tree. 
And then you choose Cash App, Venmo, or Zoom. Ah, cool. And then you just say, like, the tickets are $10 for students and everybody under 12, and the tickets for adults are 15 If if two people, if two adults and That's a child a are going. That's a steal for it, a heck of an event. It's, it's an eight, it's eight shows. Yeah. And, and, and also, our refreshments and drinks now with inflation are under anybody else's <laughs> pay. So if you're actually going to an event and it's cheaper Did at the event. Did he pay $10 <laughs> for the most basic water bottle at the Civic Center? Right, mm-hmm. right. Yes, That's what I'm started. saying, right? Um, and so, yeah. Yeah, and so you go to you just you just go to Venmo or Cash App. It doesn't charge you any extra surcharge. Yeah. Doesn't charge me extra surcharge. Um, and you just if two adults and a, a child are going, you know, it's it's uh, what, what is that uh, forty dollars, right? And so you just put that in, and you leave your email address, and then you get a confirmation uh, email mm-hmm. with like a ticket, and then you're put on the list. Excellent. We've been doing this for two years. It always it, it works. I understand that it's one more step than usually people are used to or whatever, um, but it, it but it works. Yeah, it works. Um, we also will be probably selling tickets at the door. But every event other than the first 24-hour play we actually did has sold out. Okay, like we, so, so it's a possibility, done, but it's slim. Yeah, yeah. Like last year, we had a people out the door, and we were trying to bring people in, and it got a little overcrowded. Mm-hmm. So Need a bigger uh, venue, my friend. Right? <laughs> right, find right, this right. guy a bigger home. I well, love it. One of the coolest things, though, I just want to, I did want to mention this, too. One of the biggest reasons we do this um, is this is, you know, we have a season, right? The next show we're doing has 15 people in it. Um, and that's actually a really large cast. Uh, it, it's expensive to produce, right? Um, but then we do another show, another couple shows in the spring with four or five people, two people in one show, five people in another. Um, but this event, like, and it's my favorite reason, it's, it's my favorite reason why we do it, it brings together like 60 artists mm-hmm. from all over town, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, not only if you're just a patron of the city that wants to see different people do art, writers, directors, uh, actors, if you are like, making art in this city or if you're a filmmaker or something like that like I don't know another event you're going to go to and watch and have 60 artists yeah. in the same room and that's the thing too with El Paso does the film industry is moving here I work at Leo Marketing and Star Central Studios yeah. so we have a, a video rental house and um you know we're rent like Netflix is renting from us or Amazon and stuff so there's productions here right. and when you're part of communities like yours right. it's it's a, a good way to get into these other productions. Absolutely. Not only have the people that I usually end up casting in our shows later in the season come from this festival, like that's where we meet, mm-hmm. but uh, it always makes me really excited when I see on social media or when I see an event where I know for a fact that like this person and this person met at this event, mm-hmm. they've mm-hmm. done something since then. Mm-hmm. I've had some of people call me and thank me and be like, hey, this person called me for a commercial and yeah. they told me they saw me in the 24. Like, thanks for that connection. I'm yeah. like, thank you for telling me that because that actually means a lot. Right. Like, that's why I do it. Like, mm-hmm. I want to bring all these people, put them in the same room to work together, but also give the community a chance to go to an event, enjoy the event, and then get to know of each other. Yeah. And so after the event, we do stay open. They let us keep the place open for another hour. Um, if you want to schmooze with everybody and the actors and the, the crew stays around, I go home as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> I go straight to it. Every because year, everybody's the, like, what is it, the Irish going? goodbye? And like, yeah, no, no, everybody's like, we're going out for drinks. And I'm like, yeah, I'll see you there. Either. Like, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to call somebody when I get home. I'm so tired at this point. Uh, but no, it's, it's, it's a really fun event. And, and, and like I said, just, just as a reminder, um, th- this is the only, the only event that we have that we actually like raise funds. Every other event that we do in El Paso, uh, that we do, um, all the artists are like take all the expense. Like we, we pay for our expenses, and then the money goes back to the artists. Yeah. This event, and I always thank the artists from the bottom of my heart. Like they're 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 lending their twenty four hours of time, yeah. and their talents to us, um, so that we can help. You know, and we pay for the food and the events yeah. and stuff like that. But we make a little extra money that helps us go into our season. Yeah. Uh, and lets it allow us to do other shows. That's very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one more time, how do they follow you to get their tickets? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go to uh, Facebook or uh, or Instagram, Instagram is going to be a little easier um it's it's i don't love social media so i'm also <laughs> like learning to love it and knowing that i need it yes. um but uh teatro la planta is our theater um and so if you want to go there you can get tickets there's links there's qr codes also um i just just so that you know who i am um i i, I i'm born and raised in el paso but I've spent the last 15 years as a professional actor and director around the country, um, and uh, I, I teach adjunct uh, theater over at Utah. Awesome. And I also do a lot of like private lessons for actors all over town. I have over 20 students, um, and some of them are actually in our January production. Like it's a it's a student production. Okay. And so my tag also, which everything that Theatro Planta has, I have as Adam Z Actor. 
So Adam. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so clever. Uh, but my last name is Zorowski, so Adam is the actor. You can find information on anything we do at Teatro Naplanto or if you're looking for acting lessons or Perfect. looking for anything like that. Excellent. But, uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having no, me. No, yes. And again, the date one more time. Yeah, so the day we start the event on October 11th. So if you're going to come, like follow us on IG um, because we're going to be having a videographer going all 24 hours and they're going to keep you up with everything that's going on. We're also going to post the list of events like we're going to post when show, what show is going up at what time, like their slot. And also, I'm going to take this off of you, this weekend, and I'm going to advertise this weekend, we're going to be doing a two ticket giveaway. Uh, and so that'll be posted on what you have to do to do hey. that. And so, yeah. <laughs> and I play the trumpet. Awesome. Did you want to add something? I was going to say, our event's free. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the food. Except for the food. Yeah. <laughs> did everybody, get, did we cover everything, guys? Did we cover everything? Yeah. Ours is not free. Oh, it's, a, it's practically yeah, free. It sounds great. Ours is very it's cheap. Great. It's like five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all very inexpensive and worth it. So go support. Get your tickets. Follow them on social media. And as always, tell them I sent you. If you guys are looking for fun stuff to do with the family, stuff to do with dates, you have uh, people in from out of town just looking for stuff in general. Check out Annie's Adventures. I always have great ideas for you. But these are three awesome events happening this and next weekend. Real quick, I do want to do a sponsor shout out. Thank you so much to Star City Studios for always allowing me to use their facilities. Also, thank you to El Paso Family Dental. If you guys have ever wondered about aligners, take it from me. I totally recommend them. Um, I hate going to the, the dentist, but I love going to see them. Their team is super cool, a lot of fun, and um, the process was pretty seamless for me. I know it's different for everybody, but I, I just... Can't recommend it enough. Also, Viva La Mocha, if you guys are needing a printer, they just moved to um, Cincinnati Street. They're right next to Paradigm. So that's where you can find them. And I do also want to mention, um, we have El Paso Zoo Society. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to be with them at Lincoln Dairy, uh, where they have an event coming up for Halloween. And then also, I do want to mention, you know, we have the, the excuse me, uh, where is it here? The Ne Neva. NAMI. Oh my gosh. NAMI Walks is coming up October 19th. So, fellas, if you guys don't have anything going on on the 19th, do you guys know what NAMI is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they bring awareness to uh, mental health here in our community. It is a free nonprofit. They offer free classes, courses, community outreach, uh, support groups here in El Paso for us. Um, you only know about it if you help spread the word, so help do that because it's a very important subject. Anyhow, they're having a walk on October 9th. If you would like to join, it's free to join. Um, there is no registration free. You guys can go and uh, create your own like group or you can register for Chuko Love, which is mine and my friends group. Uh, you guys can walk with us. Uh, we'll be there on the 19th. It's gonna be from eight to 12. Um, and it's at a Scott at the Park. So go and rec uh, I recommend you guys sign up, please, if you can. Also, if you would like, they are taking donations, which help fund all of these um, classes and courses that they do throughout the year. It's not mandatory, but it is awesome if you can donate anything. Um, also, I do want to mention, um, please go to my YouTube while well, you're here. <laughs> Check out my DA interview that I had with uh, DA Bill Hicks last week. It's a very informative episode that I did. They have a lot of really cool community out, uh, outreach initiatives going on that we all need to know about. Also, um, there are some questions at the end that I was able to ask him about the um, gangs that are now in the area and, you know, um, also, the Walmart trial, there was just a little bit that we touched on on that, so please go and check it out. I, I, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's excellent information. Um, also, Pro Musica, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with them and um, the, the Amigo Air Show, which is next weekend too, so um, stay tuned for all of that. Also, Nature House is back, and they've got two shows coming up. Um, just like Adam here, Nature House is a, uh, is a house in Central El Paso that um, invites, it's usually one to two traveling bands and then about two local bands. So it's a really fun night. It's like $5 donation um, to pay the people, the artists as well. So, and you can go on and take your own beer, your own drinks, whatever, uh, but it's a lot of fun. So make sure to follow um, my stories to get more information on that. 
And real quick, I do work at Leo Marketing. We're a local full service marketing agency here in El Paso, Texas. If you are ready to take your business to the next level and need any help at all, we completely understand the money on a money on a market here in El Paso. And we can help you with everything from brokering and negotiating deals for TV, radio, billboard, print, and online streaming to social media management. Video production is huge for us. Graphic design, photography, SEO, SEM, Google, branding, community outreach, um, events, literally everything and anything you need. We're all under one roof. Everything's all a cart. You know, pick the service that you need. So we try to make it as easy um, as possible for you guys. Uh, so just reach out to me any way you like or with Annie's Adventures and I'd love to help. So thank you as always for going local. Check out these awesome local businesses um, and, and uh, um, uh, events. Go and follow their pages. And as always, tell them I sent you. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.